Hey everybody, Ricky and I'm handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Saturday afternoon, July the 2nd. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to beautiful Belmont Park first for their Race 9 feature, 5.11 p.m. Eastern Post Time for Race 9. This is the Dwyer Stakes, 8.5 furlongs on the dirt, grade 2, 3-year-olds racing for $150,000. Contenders number seven, Adios Charlie, number two, Dominus, number five, Techfall, and number six, Cool Blue Red Hot. For you folks who enjoy a little thoroughbred racing history to accompany your handicapping efforts today, the Dwyer is named for the Dwyer Brothers. That's Mike and Phil. Brooklyn Wholesale Meat Distributors developed one of America's great greatest racing stables. Originally, this race was called the Brooklyn Derby. The name of the race was changed to the Dwyer in 1918. One of the greatest races uh, in the Dwyer came in 1920, which was a match race between the great Man of War and John P. Greer when other, issue, uh, other horses declined to enter the event. The event turned out to be the toughest race in the Big Chestnut's career. The two raced for most of a mile and furlong distance with the with John P. Greer getting in front at the eighth pole, only to have Manowar come on to win at the uh, wire by more than a length. Here in the 94th renewal of the stakes event, number seven out of Charlie, both the overall speed and pace profile leader in this field, racing at or about eight and a half furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in each of his four career starts to date, winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. Number two, Dominus, posted a power run win in his second race back. Missed back-to-back -back circle trips in his last race by just a photographed neck at the wire. Race nine summary, number seven, Adios Charlie, tops my contenders list, which also includes number two, Dominus, number five, Tech Ball, and number six, Cool Blue Red Hot, that's seven, two, five, six, and ninth from Belmont Park, the $150,000 grade two Dwyer Stakes. Go to Churchill Downs for their feature, race 12, 6.23 p.m. Eastern Post Time for the Bashford Manor Stakes. Six furlongs on the dirt, grade three, two-year-olds racing for $100,000. Tenders number six, Bonaparte. Number seven, Some of the Parts. Number 11, Little Cherokee. And number 11, Friskin. Number six, Bonaparte, a six to one shot on top, folks. Qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony. Nice early speed abilities to complement for this sprint. Comes off a power run win to break his maiden in his first asking. Number seven, some of the parts comes off a maiden breaking power run win in his respective first asking. He's out of the Spitestown lineage whose progeny have hit the board in 51% of nearly 1,900 combined lifetime starts to date. For your information, folks, Spitestown also qualifies for my three-star sires list. If you'd like a description of the rigid rules that I employ to make this list, send me an email, and yes, the list and the rules are indeed free. Race 12 summary, number 6, Bonaparte, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 7, some of the parts, number 2, Little Cherokee, and number 11, Friskin, 6-7-2-11. In the 12th from Churchill Downs, the $100,000 grade 3, Bashford Manor Stakes. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race two, the four to one shot, number seven. Miss Sarah Brown is better speed sprinting at four and a half furlongs on the dirt than the morning line favorite. Number six, zero interest. Canterbury Park may be closed today. That's hard to believe in Minnesota, but just in case they're racing, race two, number three, my skirt's the limit. 15 to 1 bomb drops in class by 8 units. Nice speed for this 5 and 1 half furlong sprint. So handicapping from both Churchill Downs and Belmont Park on a Saturday afternoon. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.